Today we're going to talk about the abolitionist movement, but first you have to ask yourself the question, what is abolition? What does the word actually mean? Well, in our context, we are going to be talking about a complete end to slavery in the United States. Um, this is going to be the most significant reform movement of the time. There are going to be a couple of others that we discuss, but this is the most significant. Abolitionists basically believe and think that slavery is morally wrong, and so they're going to do anything and everything in their power to get rid of it. The first of our abolitionists that we're going to be discussing is William Lloyd Garrison. So he's actually going to be a white male, um, and he is going to found the American Anti-Slavery Society that speaks out and publishes writings against slavery. He's also going to publish the abolitionist newspaper called The Liberator. So we're going to see both um, Caucasian as well as African American standing up against slavery. Continuing, we have the Grimke sisters, and they're going to disagree with the parents' support of the South um, and slavery. And they're even going to go as far as trying to recruit Southern women with their writings. So again, these are not just African American people speaking out. It's not just men, it's not just women, it's a combination of both. Harriet Tubman is a name that you're probably very familiar with, even if you don't know the specifics. She was born a slave um, and she was active in the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was neither underground nor an it actual was a secret railroad path that was meant for slaves to escape to freedom. She's also going to be a proponent of women's suffrage, and eventually she will serve as a nurse and a cook in the Civil War. Next up, we have Frederick Douglass. He's going to be another big name in the abolition world. He is going to publish anti-slavery writings and give various speeches speaking out against slavery and how cruel and brutal it is. He's also going to work very closely with William Lloyd Garrison, um, with the American Anti-Slavery Society and be published in The Liberator as well. There is about a 13-year gap between the two. Garrison was older, um, but they did develop a pretty close friendship over the years. Brings us to a woman named Sojourner Truth. She is going to be born into slavery but will eventually escape. She is going to speak out on racial inequalities, specifically those of black women. Her speech, Ain't I a Woman, that she gives at the Seneca Falls Convention um, is really going to strike a chord with a lot of different people because as an African-American woman, she had twice the amount of struggles that women had. Um, we are also going to see her be an advocate for women's suffrage, a.k.a. the right to vote. Next up, we have Harriet Beecher Stowe. She will author the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. It's going to be about the evils of slavery, and it's going to have a lot of backlash. It'll actually sell about 2 million copies, um, but it will continue to heighten tensions between the North and the South over the issue of slavery. So going to see some opposition to abolition. Not everyone's going to want that. And you're going to have really two big viewpoints on that. So the first is that some workers are going to fear that jobs will be taken away by African Americans because they're willing to do the labor for um, less money than what others have in the past. And then another issue is some Southerners are going to defend slavery, saying that it's safer than working in those northern factories because, remember, there's not a whole lot of regulations at this time for safety and that slavery was essential to the Southern economy. Um, for the South, plantation life was really a way of life, and unfortunately, slave labor is how they harvested a majority of those crops. There are more abolitionists involved than those mentioned in here, but these are going to be the big dogs in American history. Thanks for watching!